Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. So we're in this little generated uh, world there just for fun. Uh, I got an ice uh, generator for you. Um, it's also using one of Broadbent's uh, block update detectors. I think this was really cool just to throw it into a little project. Um, something different to throw at all of you. So what happens is the ice forms here. It gets pushed out here, and as soon as it gets pushed out, it's detected by this torch. And then it sends a signal back here, resetting this piston, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it. So, say if this was a piece of um, ice, it would go out, reform, your water would be back, and ready to form another piece of ice, and so forth. And off it goes. And everything is nicely done. Uh, here's another one. Uh, <laughs> Leggy Eclipse came up with this one. Um, for some reason, it doesn't always work though. Uh, there, there we go. So the ice would form, and it's the bottom piston that pushes it out. It's pretty funky. I like that one. But this is the one I'm going to show you the tutorial on. Um, so yeah. So you're going to need a five by six area. And I think it's only like one, two, three, four, I guess five high. And if you count these blocks at the other on the wall, it'd be four. So depending on how you want to look at it. All right, so first you're going to have this like this. So I'm going to do it so it's kind of like, uh, oh, I guess if I would have done it like that, it would have been non-directional. But it doesn't matter. So you're going to get your five by six area. And you're going to go one, two, three, and one over. And you're going to start building your basin for your um, for your water. Put a normal piston here. Up here. Up like this. And voila. Actually, we're going to need a block there. Just temporarily. And we're going to put your water sources here and there. Then we can cover this over. Cover this over, and all right. So now we're gonna work on the block update detector. So you're gonna want to go over three like this, one up, one here, and one up. You're gonna want to go and grab a sticky piston back here. It's important that you use a detector rail. Put a minecart on top. Put your torch here. Put a repeater there. And there you go, there's your block update detector. Every time you remove a block and place a block, it detects it. So off the back here is where you want to take your input. And we're going to put a block here. Go off the corner, go like this. Over three, up one. And then this one's going to be over and up one. And we're going to want to come over like this, uh, like this, and like that. All right. So here we're going to put a piece of redstone, a piece of redstone, and a piece of redstone. And here you're going to have two repeaters, four tick delay on both. Same as the bottom here, two repeaters, four tick delay. And here you're going to want to place a torch. Oh, I forgot a piece of redstone, my bad. And then you're here you're going to want to place a sticky piston with a block. So now when the ice forms, it resets and the whole thing is done so that is your ice machine and there we go as you see ice just formed and the ice is right back there because you can kind of see through it and it's not leaking on the ground there you go ice actually is forming very fast here which is nice um, sometimes it doesn't form very fast I guess it depends on where it's located uh, because it has to do update checks on all the water around it so be mindful also where you put stuff like this um, so you probably want an area where you're pretty far away from water but at the same time too in the middle of your snow biome so that's it everybody i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on my uh, ice uh, maker and uh, thanks broadband for a really cool um, block update detector peace everybody